oh, you know, I'm going to say I have like a erectile dysfunction. What? Because technically you can't check about what? it. Can't they go like send them to the doctor and be like, oh, we're going to check you? You know what erectile dysfunction means? You can't get hard. Yeah. yeah so you can't check that unless like. Like, what? There's, no, there's no there's no way to check that shit girl doctor girl doctor <laughs> <laughs> you're sick you're sick yo <laughs> fuck <laughs> yo you like bad luck bro every time with y'all be fucking this shit up bro you be nervous Cause you in the room. <laughs> ah, WW, yeah, you know I'm saying. Ew. Welcome back. To, what do you mean, ew? <laughs> Fuck. Welcome back to another episode of No Rays Podcast, episode number 79. I'm your host, DW, aka Darius. Co host with me, Jay. Say what's up to the people. Hey. <laughs> hey. Fuck out of here. But follow the socials down below if you're new to the channel. Subscribe, all that good stuff. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Shout out to everybody on TikTok. I haven't, we had. What three hundred, almost three hundred thirty thousand on Tic Tac. Shout out to y'all. Give yourselves a round of applause for following the, following the the members. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anything else I gotta say? I haven't said my intro in a minute. I just be going into topics. <laughs> Cause they told you to stop. I know niggas was, was <laughs> hiking on you, but it's okay though. It's okay though. But now, what are we gonna talk about? Let, let, let me, let's talk about our week. How's your week been? It's been good. You know, just regular. <laughs> <laughs> my week's been shitty i ain't gonna lie midterms been smacking me like a like a like a rag doll i had i just finished two of my projects and now i got a new project that i have to do and i'd be forgetting like i'm in grad school but i'd be forgetting that like the people in my class aren't like kids mm-hmm. like they're full-grown adults with families yeah some people be old as heck i'm like what the fuck and then i was like because i was talking so my group partner um, she was saying like, oh, I guess she's like a, re- a recruiter or some shit like that, like a some recruiter or something like that. I don't fucking know. And then she was saying like, yeah, I'm in a, I gotta go to a parent teacher conference. I'm thinking she works at a school. I was like, mm-hmm. oh, so you work at a school? She was like, she's like, no, I work at Raymore and Flanagan. I'm like, oh wait, she got kids. <laughs> I forgot she's like 45. Like I be having freaking people in my class that's like 50. But I'm like, if you like 50 something. This should be over by now. Like, why are you still trying to get your master's? What you going to do? You about to retire in 10 years. They trying to have a good uh, life after retirement. What life? They're they not even going to work no more. I know. I don't know. That was dumb. What the fuck? But, nah. But, yeah, I've been stressed out. But we we still pushing people. We go, we going on vacation, though. Spring break coming. We going to Florida. Me, me, Jay, and the family. We about to go see Jay's softball games and shit yeah, like it's that. it's not vacation for me. I wish... It's it's still this is better than nothing's better than playing Jersey, where there's it's freaking cold and shit. Yeah, I, I guess. It's, I've been dying, but hold on, wait. Oh, let me. I need to um put your volume up real quick. Okay. This is a this is a commercial break. I told you it's because I was going like this. Now we're back because Jay talks like a squirrel. Because I mean, you lowered down my volume. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. But I just wanted to talk about one thing. I've been waiting to talk about this all week. But I didn't know if I was going to talk about this on the pod. What? But I, I want to say it in person. But now we're here. <laughs> so what I wanted to tell you was, I want to tell you this before your season started. So this is technically the start of your season. Mm-hmm. I just want to tell you how proud I am that I got to watch you for the last four years. Cause I, Why would you tell me this all month? Cause I'm not gonna lie, I was thinking about it. I was like, you know what? Cause like, I never understood softball, baseball, and I remember, you know, when we used to watch you play me, you, me and Ish, he used to be like, why is these games going by in like 30 minutes? <laughs> and it's cause I'm thinking that's normal in a softball game. You know, a softball game normally like what three hours, but Jay, well, Jay pitches, it'd be like 45 minutes. But I, I never got to like. I remember people always ask me, they'd be like, oh, do you get, do you get jealous because she's a little Betty? I'm like, no. I'm like, or she'd be like, or they'd be asking me, they're like, who's the be- better athlete between you two? You or your girlfriend? I'd be like, Jay, no hesitation. Because I've seen how you've grown throughout the years. Because you, you, I never, I felt like when you were younger, you know, you worked your way up to where you're at right now. And it's great to see that all that adversity that you fought, especially through these last couple of years, you know, transferring schools, freaking um, having new coaches and things like that. And just 
having not played in a couple of years, even though you know you should be playing, and then showing out at, when you start playing, it's good to. It was, I was really, how to say, proud to see all that. Like I, oh. as your boyfriend, like I really not to get no lovey dovey people. No, no, <laughs> I just cry. I really enjoyed like watching you over these last years. I know it's your last year, and I just want to tell you, from me, especially for me, that knowing me, that. I feel like I can understand what you're going through now, especially I've been going through this damn near all my life. But I feel like for you, you don't got nothing to prove to nobody. You know what I'm saying? You got all the accolades. You got all the stuff. I tell people everything down <laughs> to the T. I, like, I'm proud to tell. It's like, for me, I felt like I don't really had the accolades, but I was always good. I used to play, but it's just like I never had the opportunity. But because, and I, whenever I had, whenever I had the opportunity, I always felt like I had to do more because there was nothing to back me up. Mm -hmm. But for you, you don't got to do that. You had all the accolades. You have all the stuff that people know that if some shit happens with you on the field, it's not your fault. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you don't got to go out there with no chip on your shoulder because you don't got no chip. Mm -hmm. Like me, I always used to have to go out there with chip on my shoulder. I felt like that made me angry a lot, especially growing up. I used to, they used to call me Russell Westbrook playing. I didn't like, I mean, I always felt like when I played basketball, I always had to, show people that I was good all my life. And I feel like it was always like, even if it was at the park, sometimes it got me like into arguments with yeah, people. We know. Pretty big. <laughs> I could have got beaten up a couple of times, but you know, I got people with me. But don't think I'm ass either, people. Don't get that twisted. I'm Ask your, yeah, your favorite not. Filipino basketball <laughs> player about me, nigga. What are you talking about? But it's just ask like, the Filipino league. Ask the Filipino people. They used to t protest on me when I was a kid. <laughs> but I always felt like, when, it, especially for me, I always had to prove myself. And I felt like if I didn't reach a certain standard, that it was my fault. I feel like for you, that you already met that standard. And you exceeded that standard. So you don't got to go out there and play with the chip on your shoulder like everything's against you because it's not. You honestly, I just want you to have fun. Have fun and just, this is your last year playing. Agreed, agreed. So I just feel like I just wanted to tell you that. Thank you. For, you know it means a lot. <laughs> almost made me cry <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying we out to the games people especially especially when me and my friends always go to the games it's always good to see how everybody's like how we all like enjoy watching cause we don't like baseball <laughs> we, we niggas that play basketball we don't like playing you know baseball and shit or softball we don't like watching this shit but it's like with you it's just like it makes it a lot more fun I like when you guys come to the games it's yeah. funny no, wait till you're senior night I just, I just stay looking at y'all I'll be like I'm about to have it. Everybody know Reggie's about to watch. You about to put that bitch on a live stream. About to have cameras everywhere. It's lit. <laughs> it's about to be up. It's about to be up. But what are we gonna talk about today, people? Let's talk about it's it's weird sitting like this. I'm sorry, people. If I keep looking at the camera, it's weird sitting like I gotta like turn. Like I'm usually on this side. I kinda like sitting over here though, but I'm not changed that shit for y'all niggas. But <laughs> what are we gonna talk about? Let's talk about the Creed movie. Did you enjoy watching the Creed movie? Ten out of ten. Is it because Michael B. Jordan was there? Because that's what all the <laughs> no, women that's, that's part of it, but it was actually part of it. <laughs> it was an actual good movie. Like what'd I you, enjoyed watching it. What'd you rate it? Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Mm -hmm. If Michael B. Jordan wasn't in it, what'd you rate it? Ten out of ten. If he was white. J <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> low key racist. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10 <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay all serious no i i enjoyed watching the movie i feel like i don't think it was a 10 i think it was my i'll give it like a eight and a half nine it was way better it, it exceeded my expectations i rated off the fact that like i wouldn't change anything about it so like if i wouldn't change anything about it then i'm gonna give it automatic 10 um, but if i would like change something about it then i give it like an eight nine but i wouldn't i just felt like they kind of they kind of like rushed going into the fight, but I guess they had to because they don't want the movie to be like three hours, like fucking Wakanda and shit. The movie was like two hours. Yeah, but it's like, I felt like there was like, he won the fight and then, it, but I mean, I don't know. It, I just, I, I thought it would be way worse because I thought it was like, oh, Michael B. Jordan's first movie, everybody's just going to gas it up. And then I thought the, the storyline was corny, like, oh, his best friend went to prison. But the way they set it up, and the way they like acted, I was like, I felt bad for that guy that came out of prison. Especially I did it. when when he first came out, you didn't feel bad. No. Why? He was up. Uh, he, he just has an annoying face. Like Jay don't like him because he's ugly. No, <laughs> all right, he's not ugly, but it's just like his face is just annoying. Like he just looks like he's ooh. Like he annoying. he was he was giving off like like um like he like he just came back into the world. He don't know how to act, so he's just like like. 
you ever seen like 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 a puppy mm-hmm. like he was like he was just all timid on things he was like man you don't need to pay for me and shit like that he's like i got this i felt it was so all bad act. it was all an act i know it was all an act like when i realized it was all an act then it was like then once he got the belt kind of the arrogance came out so i felt but then when he took the belt back away from him it was like damn i kind of felt bad because like this is all he ever wanted and it took <laughs> and it, it's just because like his greed took it away from him if he was just normal about it cool about it then he would have been all right but it was just like he wanted to be up there in the ranks so he fast. He was jealous. Yeah, he was jealous because honestly, it was they thought. I mean, it was damn spoiler alert. It was <laughs> right. it was freaking. What's his name's reason why he went to prison? Technically, yeah. If, if you never would have punched him, but it's like he tried but to help. It's him. his fault for taking out a gun. He could have just fought him back. I know he could have fought back. The gun. I know you nigga. You just wanted to, you like warmed up. You went to a boxing. You just came right. back from a fight. He exactly. was all warmed up. Like the fuck? Just start swinging. Nobody. They, they don't got no guns on them. But I don't know. But I've been seeing this. We've been talking about this in the chat for about two weeks. And I want to ask you, is Michael B. Jordan overrated as an actor? No, I think he's underrated. You think so? Because nobody, he's not in like that many movies and nobody really talks about him as an actor. They just talk about his looks. Mm, That's kind of true. But do you think he's in these movies because of his looks? No, I think he's, he tries to make movies to, to like, get out of that model type of person. I get, I get you. Because I honestly, I, I think he's a good actor, but like, because I, I asked that because he recently just got a star like on the Walk of Fame. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I'm like, damn. So I'm like, I was thinking, I'm like, damn, he got a star. Let me let me see the movies he got. I looked at the movies. He don't really got a lot of movies because I'm trying to compare him to somebody that has a star. So I was like, the first thing I came up with was like Will Smith, but he's nowhere near Will Smith. Cause Will I Smith, mean, it's probably just because he has Wakanda. Wakanda went like big. Yeah, like he has Wakanda, that total remorse and Creed. Yeah. But like Will Smith, when he was younger, had so many movies. I never realized how much it was. Yeah. But it's like I feel like Michael B. Jordan. He like this is like the beginning, mm-hmm. and then he's just gonna progress. I feel like he's in the limelight because I can't think of nobody else. Like he's the the, the young star mm-hmm. of Adbury. And That's good for him. I feel like that's good. Jersey stand up, Newark. Everybody know Newark, New Jersey type Newark shit. Stand, he, he's from Newark. Yeah, that's crazy. My dad, my dad actually told me that when he was when my dad was working in Newark, he worked at YCS, you know, with all the behavioral kids and shit like that. Mm-hmm. So he took them. They the kid they took the kids to a um a play at Arts High School and he was in it. Your dad saw him. Yeah, but he didn't know like he was. Michael he was yeah, yeah, but he was. He's probably like fifteen. He had braids and everything. That's like my, cool. um, my dad's friend, I think her name her name is Diana. She had a picture, and you, you see him like with the with the braids, like acting and stuff. Uh-huh. So I'm like, yeah, came up, bro. Remember you seen that shit where he was on a, like he was uh he was being interviewed, and I guess the girl went to high school with them or some shit like that. He's like, oh, what'd you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She bullied him. Yeah, dang, that's good. What he used to call him, corny or some shit like that. Yeah, she was like, he was like, yeah, remember me, corny? I was like, oh, I know. I mean. Jeez, uh, I guess I, I would do the same shit I'd be like, Yo, You remember you just called me Yeah You would not do that <laughs> <laughs> No I would do that But I don't know I, I like Michael B. Jordan I don't think he's overrated I think he's I think he's perfectly rated Yeah I think he's like He's fine where he's at He's not overrated Not underrated I feel like he's If he was Like he's not ass mm-hmm. Like I feel like he's pretty He's pretty good in movies Especially this movie He's pretty good I like this movie and a lot of people say they don't—they're not gonna watch it because they didn't watch the first two. I mean, you don't really gotta watch the first. Yeah, two. Yeah, you don't have to watch the first. It's two not. To watch it two. don't really tie in with the other two. Mm-hmm. It's mostly just like it's—it's it's technically like its own movie or something like that. But I, I kind of liked it. But I want to talk to you about since we're talking about celebrities, I've seen this shit going around the internet that said, you know how the Kardashians have like a curse, so they're saying that like there's a Kardashian curse. And that's why all their, like, boyfriends and shit, like, go downhill. What's the curse? So, supposedly, <laughs> this is crazy. I don't believe in this. I don't believe in it, but, like, it's 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 kind of funny because mm-hmm. it low-key makes sense. So, supposedly, in the 1800s, an ancestor of the Kardashians, like, sold her soul to a bunch, a group of witches so that her, all of her, like, females in her bloodline will get fame and fortune. But the catch is that every single male that goes into their life will have bad luck. But it make it it because like you know there's there's witch witchcraft is real yeah like low key my aunts in the Philippines kind of do witchcraft on some weird shit my mom said a couple people go in the woods do some shit but like like if oh, you no. like I'm if we look at good. like if we look at the examples we talk about Lamar Odom Lamar Odom won two championships with the Lakers with as prime six man of the year 
He married Khloe Kardashian right after his first finals. Starts doing crack, almost died. Overdosed. And then we talk about Chris Humphreys. Do you know who Chris Humphreys is? No. Chris Humphreys was one of the best players on the Nets. He signed a max contract. But that summer, he married Khloe, uh, Kim Kardashian for 75 days. Literally, was, they were married for 75 days. They, they got divorced. His career went downhill. You don't even know who Chris Humphreys is. He was I on mean, the, I heard of him, but i never seen him before. He was one of the best players. He was averaging 13 and like 12 on the Nets. New Jersey... On the before before they went to Brooklyn, mm-hmm. and as soon as they got divorced, went downhill. Freaking Reggie Bush was one of the best running backs in college. Won the Heisman Trophy. Started dating Kim Kardashian. Tore his knees up. Was never the same. And they took his Heisman Trophy away from him because they found out there was a there was like a uh, I think he violated some rules or something like that. So they took his Heisman away. Mm-mm. After that, there's more freaking. Um, then we talk about. Travis Scott dating uh, Kylie Jenner and shit like that. One of the best rappers, one of the best artists of the, at the time, dates her, shit like that, have a kid together. Then that whole Travis Scott massacre happens. And now he's canceled. I haven't heard nothing about Travis yeah, Scott in a yeah. minute. I haven't heard about Travis Scott in a minute. And now the biggest one is Kanye. Kanye was one of the best rappers, producers at the time. Probably almost, he's probably going to be go down as top five ever. But now he's in mental hospitals, getting canceled, going missing, talking about the Illuminati. And then he even said that when he was with Kim, he felt like he was in the freaking, um, he was in the, uh, what's that shit called? In the sunken place, you know, from Get Out. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I what don't... about um, the one, the one who dated Ben Simmons? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, Kendall Jenner, Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons was second in the Defensive Player of the Year Awards. He was a three-time All-Star. Dated her. Look what he's doing now. He don't even shoot the ball. Literally, they call him the next LeBron James. Even Pete Davidson been going to therapy after you dated Kim. Oh, yeah. You heard I forgot of, about him. Like, what the fuck? Like, what is going on? The only person that is safe right now is Devin Booker. Oh, yeah. Be, but like, right I, now. Right now. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I believe in this, but this is, it's too weird. They, they're talking all the, all the, oh my God. All the feminists in the world, they're like, it's not them, it's the men that they date. So what, it's just, just because they're broken when they find them don't mean they break them. But I'm like, do you see the trend here? Even Rob Kardashian. Did you see Rob Kardashian before, like, before and after? He's fat now. <laughs> like, that guy got gained weight. Like, he's What's big. going to do anything? I don't know, That sounds a little fat phobic. Nah, don't don't get me on fat phobic. I, I'll I'll start exposing people, but I'm not gonna do this on this platform. But but I don't know. I I've been saying this for a minute. That Get Out movie was inspired by Kim by the Kardashians, bro. Kim Car- the Kardashians are taking these black folk and changing their minds with white people so they can live out their hoop dreams. In the words of Bash, were but, they all black? Um, black yeah. black guys. Yeah, they was basically all black. Chris Humphreys was half, but they were mm. all black. Think about it. All their careers went downhill. Mm-mm. Literally every single one. There's no person that left that relationship normal. That's crazy. I was Oh, Pete Davidson's the only one, but I didn't even know he was, go, he was going to therapy. What the fuck? What did you do? What did they see behind them doors of the house? Free them kids, bro. Free Kanye, bro. I'm going to say free Kanye until it's backwards, bro. Free my girl North. <laughs> nah, she part of this shit too, bro. Free, free, the, free the people who are going to date her. God damn, how she, she... Oh, no, for real. Yeah, oh, my God. They probably gonna... I'll be scared. Like, hell no. Get away from me. She gonna have a crush on some kid in middle school. She like, I like him. I'm like, oh, hell no. What's your mom's name? Back the <laughs> fuck up. But I got a question for you, right? So would you ra- So which one would you rather choose, but everybody in the world will know which one you chose? Okay. Would you rather go blind or have every plane in the world right now that's flying crash? Lily, at this moment. <laughs> Blind is crazy. I know. Just all right, let me let, let's paint. But at paint. least I'm living though. Like that's a lot of people that's gonna die. They might not die. Some right, might if they don't die, then crash the planes. I know, but it's like, you know, someone it's like a plane crash. Not everybody gonna die, but there might be one where everybody died. But there's a lot of planes flying yeah. right now. There's probably I'll, like hundreds. I'll go blind. You go blind? Damn, bro. We young. We gonna go seventy years without seeing? I guess. What the fuck? Nah. You gonna have all them people die? <laughs> Damn, they gonna hate me. 
Nah, but if they, but if they, if I go blind, they better like know that I did this for them. Yeah, they are gonna know. You said it. Well, I be, I better be a hero. Like, <laughs> I better be rich at least. Yeah, you better give me some money for this <laughs> shit. But I think I'm, I'm gonna go planes, bro. Damn. I think I'm gonna drop them planes. But look, think about it, cause look. You don't have no good explanation for that. Cause now look. You sacrificing right, wait, other wait. people's lives and families. Okay. And kids are gonna be crying because their parents dying. Look, now think about it. Life insurance <laughs> gonna jump. <laughs> Chill. Let me not. I, I tried to find a loophole. I don't want to lose my sight. Now I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be freaking. You're just losing your sight for lives. For lives. Hundreds of lives that you're gonna save. But you're you know. Gonna, you're going to be on the cover of magazines. You know how many people would choose the planes also? If I was on the plane, they don't give a fuck about me. <laughs> why the fuck is That's why they're going to have bad karma. Damn, why you did the karma on me? You know I'm superstitious. <laughs> fuck. All right, I think I, I'll go blind just to be normal, bro. I don't want to. I can't Damn. see I'm blind, blind. Blind, blind. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna let you keep going. I was gonna let you keep going. I was waiting for you to hit the. <laughs> you can't hit it. Oh, that shit hurt me though. <laughs> nah, it's because I was saying that Rod Wave earlier. I kind of stretched my voice out. You swear you hit that? I didn't. No. Yo, I swear I be singing. Like I swear I sound great in my head. Yeah, me too. And then you sing. No, but you sound decent unless I'm just unless I'm just biased. You biased. Also, oh, you're not biased. You're not gonna tell me I sing. No. <laughs> what the I'm fuck? Gonna, you're gonna be the one that kid can't sing at all. You're gonna be like, oh my god, you're so good. No, I'm gonna make and fun lie of to our that kid. kid. Do you see how I make fun of Elijah? I'm gonna make fun of our kid now. Nah, maybe our daughter. Now nah, I, I gotta tell them they suck. No, what? I gotta tell them. You gotta tell them they suck if it's your kid. Like my mom told me. I mean, sometimes. <laughs> I mean you just gotta Alright look You gotta tell them In a nice way Like yo This is not It's not it for you Yeah like, like this is not You your, can't sing Like this is not your shit Like you gotta You gotta try something else But what if she, but what if she says Like I wanna I wanna get better I'll be like There ain't no getting better With the voice I know I, I think I don't you, think singing coaches Could help low key, the impossible maybe. They might be able to I think if I would want To sing practice They would have helped me I think I could teach you How to sing you could teach me how to sing when you don't know how to sing. YouTube. Look, first of all, it's not about knowing how to sing. It's about confidence. <laughs> if you're confident. So let me hear something. What do you want me to sing? See, now I got. I need water. I've been talking for like 20 <laughs> minutes. I'm, I'm, I forgot to bring water. Dude. My mouth is parts and oh, shit. Oh, snap. We did forget to bring water. You looked. At, I thought that was lotion. <laughs> you want to drink that shit. But I don't know. When the, when the time comes. Yeah, you got you to gotta tell them they suck. Well, not no. they suck, but like, yeah, that's not. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna let my our son beat me in basketball until he's a good age. Like I'm gonna like really try hard. No, you should let them beat you in basketball Why? until they know what they're doing, and then don't let them. Oh, I'm, all right. Well, I mean, he's gonna know what he's doing by he's like by like when he's four. Mm-hmm. But so like he's not gonna win. Like if he tries to shoot, I'm punching that. Okay. Okay, that was cool. I thought he wasn't cool with that. <laughs> I just making sure. But um, what else do you want to talk about? Uh. Oh, you know, there's a new, all right, let me not scare you, but they've been saying. Oh, my God. <laughs> not with the planes. No, not the planes. What oh, planes? No. I thought you were about to talk about some planes going down. Nah, they was talking about freaking World War Three, bro, and how it's like around the corner. Shit's been heating up. I ain't going to war. I've been saying, like, I was like I was preparing myself to say, like, like yo, like, I'm going to prison. Like you no. can lock me up. Like I'm just break something. They can't send you if you break a knee or something. You rather go to prison than break a knee. Damn, that shit gonna fucking hurt, yo. <laughs> I'm getting the MRI for my arm right away. I'm be like, yeah, I have a torn shoulder. Ding, I'm can't gonna... do nothing to me. Fuck. Like I got to like hit my foot with the sledge. Oh my god, that hurts. We be talking about this all the time, but like I know, when the time comes where I gotta break something, I don't know if I can do it. Just do something like jump off of not jump off of like a building or something. <laughs> I was thinking about jumping off a veggie room. <laughs> <laughs> no, like just like sprain an ankle. Oh fuck! Ooh, you know what I'm gonna say? I'm gonna say I have like a um, what's that shit called? Erectile dysfunction. You have mental illness. Ooh, I could do that too. Say Damn. I got anxiety. Sorry for the people with mental illness. It's real. okay. We love y'all, bro. We got we all got them. <laughs> not as but I'm gonna say I got erectile dysfunction. 
what you know you know freaking uj brother went to the, he was in the military and like he told the told him that he has erectile dysfun- dysfunction and like he got like like disability from that what the hell like so he gets money from the government because of erectile dysfunction because technically you can't check about what? it can't they go like send them to the doctor and be like oh we're gonna check you you know what erectile dysfunction means So you can't check that unless like, like there's no there's no there's no way to check that shit. Girl doctor. Girl doctor. <laughs> <laughs> You're sick. You're sick, yo. But, <laughs> but but with World War Three, so supposedly there was a there there's an underground city in the United States somewhere, just like Area Fifty One, where just in case a nuclear war happens, like the the higher up people will get to go down there and just like like live out their live out or like fight the war down there like that movie mm-hmm like where we have to no it's not it's not uh, kind of like that like a bunker it's not that big though it's like i think it could fit like each so there's like so down there it's like 700 plus feet below the ground and there's like um in in the building there's like five three-story buildings like five separate buildings and each building could hold like 80 people and then it comes with a cafeteria has its own like water reservoir has a barber shop as a freaking um, medical facilities and it has its own like command center that can like control like a nuclear war from like from underground and it has like springs under the bottom so like say like some like a nuclear thing hits it like it won't shake damn i wish i i was the president's daughter don't worry we gonna if we all just rush that shit yeah they're gonna let us in or nah they probably not gonna let us in but if they if we can't live they're not living so, <laughs> so we all gonna rush it for real. <laughs> if y'all not getting in this bitch, we not. Right. If we can't get in, y'all not getting in. Mm-hmm. Hey, bro, like type that. shit, bro. We just go. Hey, all my no regulars people, we out to the area fifty one. Remember that shit? That when people signed the peti- petition to storm area fifty one, I signed that shit. I was about to buy my plane ticket. <laughs> but, but I was saying, I was thinking like, you know how like every. They be saying history repeats itself and like like our parents went through a lot of things like growing up, like they went through like Vietnam War, like nine eleven. Like what like what big like event will happen in our lifetime? I mean COVID. I mean, oh yeah, COVID, but like like we 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 looked at COVID as a joke. I'm not even gonna we lie. We low to key you. went through nine eleven too. We were alive, I know, but we, we were was, just won. We were, I don't I don't remember. I was still playing I was still watching Rugrats as as the shit happened. <laughs> Like <laughs> I was still eating my cheese doodles. I was like I was oblivious of what the you, fuck going on. You couldn't on. even chew at the time. I was like one and a half. No, no, I was de- no. I only think I was one. Year. I was like nine. No, no, I was two. No, you was definitely like I was like two because I was one. I thought, or turning one. I thought it was two. I was turning one. Damn, so you wasn't even a year of life. And that shit happened. Damn, I was it was about like to be. it was four days before your birthday. Mm-hmm. Dang. Dang, my birthday was booty that year. That's what I'm saying, yo. Like think about it. you know how <laughs> you know how we like we don't celebrate it but we talk about nine eleven on nine eleven. Mm-hmm. Do you think the people in Japan talk about like when we dropped the nuke on them? Like Probably. on that, like like on a that holiday? day, not a holiday, not a, but, not a holiday, but like how we have nine eleven, how they they probably have. So like, like do whatever. they look at us like yo we don't like y'all? Or maybe maybe because like we don't really look at we don't look at the Taliban like that, but like we don't look at like Muslim. We used for a second, for a minute, we didn't like Muslim people. Mm-hmm. But like, do we look at that? Do Japanese look at us like that? Mm-hmm. Like, I wonder if there's maybe like, like the higher ups, but I don't think the people really care. <laughs> you don't think they care? You feel like they like deserve that shit? Did they deserve it? I don't know. They was wild. I, I heard. I heard they like they wasn't stopping. It was like a you know when the you have like a little brother that keeps messing with you and they won't stop and you gotta hit him like real good, <laughs> and then that's what I heard. That's what that was equivalent to. Like you ever wonder, like you know how we have, you know how we have like uh like movies that like talk about war, like we fight the Japanese. You think they have that with Americans, like them just like killing a bunch of American niggas? Probably. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking crazy. Imagine being an actor going to fucking like Japan to film a movie, and you're like one of the niggas that just die, and like you're the bad guy. Or how we have like um like regular army movies mm-hmm. against like Afghanistan and stuff. Yeah. They have it against us, oh. and they just be they be killing us. Damn, because I know they have that in India. Like when we was watching that, when I was watching that Indian movie with the thing, because they was fighting the, they was fighting the British. It was like some Indian Revolution, some shit. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. That was that'd be freaking weird, bro. Like I was just, I gotta ask Jason again, like how it was when he lived in Japan. He said they was pretty welcoming, but I, I think maybe definitely certain parts they're like, yo, these dirty Americans. Yeah. Certain parts, man. We love y'all, bro. That's why we the most diverse place in the world, bro. But oh, I got another thing we could talk about, bro. So, 
There's a there's a did you ever hear of a, a secret CIA experiment on like an arcade game? Mm-mm. So it was basically so this was so in 1981 in Portland, Oregon, a new game like appeared in a bunch of different like uh, arcades across the, the city and shit like that. And it was called Polybius. And it was basically like, you know, like a normal arcade game, like where you, like a, like Pac-Man and shit like that. It was something like that, but I forgot how it worked. But supposedly once it came into like the the arcades, it became one of the most popular games and shit like that. So everybody would line up trying to play it. But like as people would play it, like things would start happening to them. Like a lot of people like reported saying like they would get like mean, like aggressive headaches. A lot of people even said like they would black out for like hours. And then some people even like in some cases, like niggas had like seizures from playing that game and nobody understood why like why this was happening and then a lot of people also reported seeing like people in like like uh black suits come into like the arcades and like take down notes and take down data of people like playing the games and just and then they'll like sneak off and like walk out the back like real quick and then a lot of people and then once like all the stuff like the seizures and like the people like blacking out stuff started getting into like uh, the news and shit like that or started or more people started hearing about it like one day everybody walked into the arcades and they were gone. Like the all the game machines were gone. And nobody knows what happened. And people started digging into like the the game and like like who created the game and the developers. And if you look at the developer's name, it was a German company. I can't pronounce it, but if you like translate it into English, it means what does it mean? It means um sensory deprivation. So sensory deprivation is when like you lose like your senses, like sense of like eat, like sight, smell, hearing. Mm-hmm. So people think that this was like a government experiment to like try to like um, control people's minds. Like this was like one of their tests because even this was after when people found out that in the fifties they was doing mind control on people, like the CIA. So this was like people think that this was like another test that the government was doing on people. So we don't know about it, like a secret test on the public. And where were the where were they located? It was in Oregon, in Portland. Mm-mm. So a lot of kids. So I don't know if they was trying to like brainwash the kids into like doing certain things to like influence like the youth or some shit like that, or they was like testing it on kids to see if like how low of a level could we like who what's the lowest? What is the youngest age that this mind control stuff could like work on? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because like they were doing like. It was called MK Ultra. They was doing this mind control stuff on adults. So they was like, you know, let's try it on kids and see what happens. And I guess people was having seizures. They was blacking out. The kids? Yeah. Those were like a lot of people like was like, like their minds was getting messed up. Mm-hmm. Like just imagine you play a game and you just don't remember nothing for like three hours like you was drinking. Because like a lot of people, like gov- the government be doing experiments on us a lot. Bro. Mm-hmm. Like even like if we don't know about it, like a lot of people like claim, especially they probably do it to homeless people. Yeah, like they, a lot of homeless people claim that the government did shit to them. Even, even, even black folk. Like in the '60s, you ever heard of the Tuskegee experiment? Mm-mm. So this was an experiment in 1960 in Alabama when a group. It was a they did a they asked 600 African American men to do a experiment for an exchange they would get um health insurance. So what they would do is they would give them like shots, but the shots had syphilis in it. And at the time, they, nobody knew what syphilis was. So what they were doing was they was giving these African-American men syphilis and they was promising like, yeah, we're going to give you like the the vaccine and things like that. But like they wasn't they would give them shots of the vaccine, but it was like a fake like they would think it was vaccine, but it wasn't vaccine. So like half the half of the like uh, test group died. And it was like because they was trying to see like what are the effects of syphilis mm-hmm. if you do it to somebody. And like they weren't even giving them no health insurance. And this been, this was going on for like 40 years. But why, like, I know the government still do stu- does stuff like that. So, like, why not just ask people to volunteer to get tested on and give them money for it? People will do it, no doubt, for because, money. Because I feel like they need, see, I don't think it's right at all. But I just feel like they need, like, a large group of people. And I don't think they think a large group of people will, like, want a disease in their body. Especially, you know, they might die. No matter for how some much. money? I don't know. Depending, depending on, depending on, like they probably, you know, they probably don't want to give nobody money. Yeah, that's the reason. This is everybody's cheap. Everybody in the world is cheap. From for me to the president, everybody fucking cheap. So it's like they they will find any way to like not spend money. Mm -hmm. So they will try the least possible 
what I learned about corruption in businesses. Businesses all over the world, country, from Walmart, Target, to motherfucking GameStop, they're all, most of them are corrupt. There's nobody that's higher power that hasn't done nothing bad to mm-hmm. get there. That's why I feel like, like, that's why it's like, it's not worth it to do that because a lot of people really, you really have to like do some shady shit to get to certain places, yeah. especially in the business world because money rules the world and there's not a lot of money out there, but we could make money, but it's like, they need to, they need to find ways to preserve money to keep themselves at the top. So they do shit like this, especially if they're doing that shit to them now, imagine some shit happens and imagine some shit comes out in like 2035 saying that they put some shit in our waters and that's why shit's going, that's why yada, yada, this, that, yada, yada, that. Like, just imagine, like, what we, like, what we, I, I think there, we're going to, at this point, after, we're going to, we're going to revolt, because that's crazy. Yeah. That we're is. really, like, lab, like, lab rats. We were lab rats. For- that was a. <laughs> shit. I can't, we can't talk about this. We can't even talk about it on YouTube. Oh, yeah. what did you say? You say nothing. Oh, shit. Damn. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yo, I got a question for you, right? <laughs> so. Which one would you rather be real in the world? Like, which folklore creature would you rather be real? Vampires or dragons? <clears throat> I want to say vampires, but I don't want to get bit. That's what I was saying, too. Because, like, I don't want to live forever. Like, <laughs> I don't. But dragons, they're just going to be doing the most. That's what I'm saying. I feel like vampires, like, blend into society too mm-hmm. much. They're going to have to feed and they're going to have to, yeah. Like, But then dragons are going to kill people anyway. I know, but I feel like, I feel like they can, they can, we can like. Train. Not, tr- oh, not <laughs> train is crazy. We, I think we could just like, you know, stick away from them. Like how we avoid like, like deadly animals now. We can just avoid like dragons and shit, but it might be really hard. Yeah, like a lot of people going to die. Hell. A lot of people still going to die. Like, if, like, like you might not be able to go to forest because like them shits could breathe fire and they could freaking fly. Yeah, <clears throat> but I don't think. I think, I think I. That's hard. Cause like, what what dragon gonna pull up to Jersey City? We He's, right by New York. I know, like what, like, damn, dude, <sighs> fuck. Cause the only thing with vampires is that they blend in. But I feel like dragons, they don't hunt for us. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think they care about us unless but, we probably mess with them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying cuz like unless we go into their territory and they feel like yeah. threatened, that's one. So I feel like I'll pick dragons because vampires, they can like manipulate you thinking that they're human and mm-hmm. they kill you. Now you're dead yeah. or you become no, immortal. No, you live forever. Yeah, I'm not with the vampires. What if it's not the vampires that that like turn you into a vampire, but what if it's vampires that just suck your blood out and you die? And I don't want to die right now either. That's what I'm saying. That's ass. So you go pick. I have to pick the dragons. Yeah, I think I'm picking dragons. That's a hard question. Like niggas think that shit's freaking. If they were the vampires <laughs> from Vampire Diaries, I would have picked the vampires. Cause they're cute. No. <laughs> were they cute? Only, only Damien. Was he white? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> white man always on top, bro. <laughs> <Get> the- <laughs> <laughs> Never. Uh, I, uh, I not talking. <laughs> but I was I was also thinking right because do you think that vampires were ever real in one point in life maybe back in like the olden days there was vampires ever no because they're immortal so they will still be around what if they just blend in I ain't never heard of nobody dying for no I don't know because like I don't think so because I like, think about it like I feel like you have to base a folklore on something like, like when they talk about oh werewolves, Frankenstein, Dr- Dracula. I feel like I don't think maybe there was vampires like the blood sucking, but there might have been a serial serial killer that acted like a vampire. Yeah, like you know he killed somebody, sucked up their blood oh. and shit like that. Somebody um, DM'd you saying yes, woman opinion, great way to start Woman's Month. What the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are you looking at? <laughs> Shout out to you. If you right. watching. What's, what was her name? Let me give her a little shout out. Give her a shout out right now. Damn, I got my phone on the pod right now. I'm up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up. OG Jazz. Yes, sir. Women's Month, you know what I'm saying? Type shit. But, <laughs> but yeah, because it was like, I feel like there might have been like a serial killer that was acting like a vampire. Like, you know, kill somebody, drink their blood, 
And then they probably thought like, then that's when the shit started. Mm -hmm. Especially like with the Salem, because especially like how the Salem witch trial started with like conspiracies of like there's witches and shit like that. There could be a conspiracy about like back then it was like with vampires. But then I also heard like, I remember somebody, somebody was talking about this on TikTok. He asked this one question that was crazy. He said, you know how every animal in the world has like, has like a different like like a like a cousin or something like a alternate of it like a grizzly bear there's grizzly bears polar bears yeah, yeah. black bears why don't we have that for humans why don't we yeah like is there like an other like like humanoid gorillas but like those are apes though they're not humanoids humanoid so if it's like so if it's like imagine it's like niggas like vampires got superpowers what if like there's like people that adapted to the water like that's why they be seeing mermaids oh. and shit like that Oh, like how like the wolf family is like a part of the yeah. regular dog family. Like there's nothing that's unless like there's no like there those are called like classified as like canines and shit like that. But like there's nothing that's like like human. There's always it's just us. But is there what if there was like imagine remember like so they just think there's like a big ass flood that happened. Imagine like the humans, some humans like adapted to land, but what if some humans adapted to the ocean? <gasps> That'd be like Avatar. Yeah, like imagine that shit would be crazy. And That'd then, be tough. You never know. That like, what if they just like mermaids or something like that? What if those are just like new humans or just like a new fo- a different form of humans? Mermaids are evil. I heard. I heard they'd be like like you know who believes in mermaids? The a lot of people from like the islands. Mm-hmm. I believe in them too. Like, do, all right. What to what extent do you believe? Like what? Like you believe like they. They they'll sing the songs to like lure in like mm-hmm. sailors and shit like that. Like at night, obviously they're not gonna do it. I feel like they do it in like secret, mm-hmm. so people won't really believe in them for real. Mm-hmm. I get you. A lot of people say that mermaids, like the reason why dolphins are so like accustomed to us, like you know how dolphins are so playful as mm-hmm. us because they they swim somewhere where mermaids are, so they're used to seeing things like us. That's true. Dolphins are friendly sometimes. Dolphins are very friendly to us, like to humans and shit like that. So like what if it, they're just used to seeing people that look like us, but like in the water. Mm, I did see a TikTok video of a dolphin like swimming up to the boat and playing with like like the kids and stuff. Mm-hmm. I was like. That's what I'm saying. They're wild animals, but they're so playful to us. Yeah. Like, no other. I don't think no other animals like that. Mm-hmm. So it's like there might be something, but. At the end of the day, it's it's all folklore. So like I would I don't know. I don't have no proof. I don't don't kill me. I ain't no conspiracy theorist people. I just think shit is interesting. We about to be on a cruise too. We're gonna hear that noise. Oh, go- Yo I'm gonna look over the boat like if I see a I'm mermaid gonna get snatched up. <laughs> <laughs> you remember in fucking like a in a, the Wakanda movie when the freaking Atlantis people was going on the boat mm-hmm. so that's gonna be us. <laughs> oh we could oh damn, I can't wait for that cruise. I ain't gonna lie. We're gonna put the bed on the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> that's type scary I ain't gonna do that shit I seen people on like TikTok doing that Mm-mm. they'll put the beds on the balconies and they'll like s- sleep under the stars and shit shit go be sweet until a big ass wave hit your nah, ass stop, <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> hey yo <clears throat> but oh I got another story to tell you got another story I, this, is, this is a good pod for straight stories you wanna get your dances out <laughs> <laughs> so do you believe in doppelgangers to an extent, like, I want to believe in it, but I don't know if it's true. Like, I feel like there's another person out there living the same life as me, but I don't know if they look the same, exactly the same as me. I feel like with so many so many people in the world, there's got, there's bound to be somebody that look like me. That's what, that's what I think, but maybe not exactly, but maybe similar. But the story I have for you today is that, so there was a French teacher. I feel like I'm in school. What? <laughs> the story I have for you today. <laughs> <laughs> why you gotta kill my mother, <laughs> why you gotta do that shit <laughs> Here, I'm sorry <laughs> cut it out nah I'm gonna keep that shit in there who the fuck calling me these niggas calling me yo hello me boy I need me to call you boy wait who there yeah wait I think that nigga's gonna get fooled Nah, we was uh we doing a pie right now. What? You want you want to say hi to the pod, bro? Yeah. <laughs> All right, bro. All right. All right so, so there's a story about there's an urban legend about a woman 
and a French teacher back in the 1800s who taught in Latvia. So the thing about her is she was a teacher for 16 years, but she switched schools 19 different times because all the kids were being scared because they seen they they report seeing her with a doppelganger like once in a while. Mm-hmm. So she would be like riding on the chalkboard, not looking at the kids. And then the kids will see like an exact copy of her right next to her doing the same exact shit. And the kids would be like, yo, what is that? And then she'll turn around. And that shit will go away. Mm-mm. And then another time was like she was like helping the kids for a play and shit like that. She was helping the girls like, you know, putting the dress on and shit like that. And then the girl reports seeing another one just like her doing the same thing with their dress and she fainted. But like people think she's like, she has like, it's like her spirit just like is able to do some unworldly shit where it's like she's able to like be in two places at once on some weird shit because. Like the Flash. Something like, I don't know, does the Flash do shit like that? Like he's like in two places at once? He's you're, in multiple places at once. You're weird. <laughs> but she be, she be, they be saying like, like she be saying like they be feeling she be feeling like all like droggy and shit like her spirit leaves her body and mm. that's probably why they be seen but like i don't know if like that's like the case but like the weirdest one that happened was i guess she was out of school and one of the teachers had to step out for a second so she came in to like watch the class and the the students was looking at her but then they look outside and the teach the same person of her is outside like watering the plants in the garden mm-hmm. and the kids is like what the what the hell's going on so they walk over and they touch her and that shit goes like right through nah. but like it's weird right because in her mind she heard she heard the teacher ask her to like watch the class for her and in her mind she's thinking like yo i'm gonna go do it but she just didn't do it so what if like that part of her body went out and actually did it that's what the whole thing is saying like a whole like mm-hmm. outer she has like a whole like like her subconscious her subconscious just leaves her body but like in like a actual form of a human body i don't think i don't know if like t- that's just a weird it's a weird ass story like i i've been seeing that shit go around tiktok a lot and i don't know how i feel about that one but i just think like just imagine there's like a doppelganger that's like i think i talked to you about this before it's just like what's that what's that movie um us imagine some shit like that they had doppelgangers in the vampire diaries you in the Vampire Diaries. <laughs> you got like, what is it you in the Vampire Diaries? They had doppelgangers. How was it though? Like what kind, like what, like what did the doppelgangers I don't remember. Do? I just, I don't, I think they were opposites, but they looked like exactly the same. Because I know in Us, it was like, you know how you, what well, you know what you're doing right now? Mm-hmm. Your doppelganger is, is like in hell doing the same exact shit, but it's like, it doesn't look like this. Like she's just sitting because like you're controlling her. So it's like, you're basically, it's like this, like upside down world. So like, you're going like, you're sitting in a chair, but she's probably sitting in a chair in like a jail cell, but like, she can't move because you're not moving. Like, it's like terrible. You never watched that movie, Us? No. That's well, just, no, I did watch Us, but I don't remember. Oh, I do remember. You remember? And then when she went to the mirror, that's when she was able to switch herself with that person. And she mm-hmm. was able to live her life. It took me mm-hmm. mad long to realize that shit. Is that... Is that when they were, it was like a, like a downstairs thing? Yeah. I remember. Like that shit was, like, I'm like, bruh, like, what do you mean down, downstairs? Like she got to like walk downstairs and shit like that? Like it was like a, a little thing downstairs. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. A, it was like, there was like little beds and shit. Mm-hmm. And it was like, if somebody on top is eating a cheeseburger, the one down low is eating like a rat. And like they can't, oh. and they can't like do nothing about it because they're not control in control. When you're on the top, that's when you're in control and shit. And that's why she wanted to switch. Because she's basically a prison. Yo, damn, that was a great movie. Can you, yo, I'm about to run that back. That I never. No, it took me mad long to realize like how good that was. Because mm-hmm. I didn't get it. I was like, yo, what the fuck? I didn't get it either. Like you had to really think. Yeah, that was that was pretty tough though. Thinking about it now is type scary. But I got another. I got a question for you now, right? Mm-hmm. So, which fictional serial killer would you rather be real in your city or town? Jason or Jigsaw? What did Jigsaw do? Jigsaw was the one. Remember, we watched that movie where he would kidnap people and like torture them. Remember the one where it was like Chris Rock was in it. Jay's terrible at remembering stuff. I I don't remember movie names. Remember, Jigsaw was the one where I know the face of the. You remember there was a scene in the movie when the guy was like being held up by his tongue from the train. Oh yeah, that. So like, so like, they would kidnap people. Like he was like, yeah. 
So like they would ki- he would kidnap people and like torture them, and like have the people decide like how you, they yeah they like you either it. gotta lose all your fingers or die type mm-hmm. shit. So would you rather that or Jason? And Jason's basically like a silent killer, like one of the craziest serial killers in the in movies. Jason, you rather have Jason? Yeah, because I don't want to like Jigsaw be coming up with some crazy stuff to die. Damn, but Jason, Jason be. Jason be sneaking up on niggas like Michael Myers, but he's basically Michael Myers was smaller. They're Just, both my worst fears. What? Getting kidnapped? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. It's a lose-lose. Fuck. I think I'm a... Um, I think I'm a pick. You know you're going to pick Jason. Don't tell me what to do. Oh! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll pick Jason. Just cause jigsaw, just cause if I if I'm ever the one to be, <laughs> if I'm ever the one to get like picked to get tortured, I will really be that would be done. Exactly. I'm just like yo. Remember that one where he had like the things on his fingers, and mm-hmm. like he he was like it was like pulling off his fingers, and like if he like leaned back, he was like gonna get electrocuted. That shit was bad. Yeah, I don't want that to happen to me, bro. But what, if I'm a good person, you're not gonna get me. <laughs> he was only getting the corrupt people. Oh, I don't remember. Jason, but. like he was only killing the cops. He, right. Jason, if he only kills corrupt people, I'm gonna take Jigsaw. Yeah, but what if I cross the street? Like, what if I jaywalk and he's like, he's like, oh, now it's over for you. I'll what if I get a speeding again. ticket? <laughs> you gonna get a speeding ticket? No, I'm not. Jay's the terrible driver. I'm a good driver. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else? Um, oh, <laughs> this is actually funny. This is a, this is a funny thing I want to talk to. You. You good? ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> Jay got ADHD, people. No, ADD. Uh, attention a- attention deficit disorder. What's ADHD? Isn't that the same thing? That's the one where you can't, like, you're too hyper. Atten- oh. Attention deficit uh, disorder where you can't pay attention too well. Mm. <laughs> but, you know, you, you know the, you know the cereal, the, I said cereal, the, the nursery rhyme, the muffin man? Yeah. Like, how's it go? Do you no. know the muffin man, man, the muffin man, the muffin you know, man? You know that shit was based on like a, a serial killer? And you'll make me sing it? <laughs> We're done up. Hey, bro. <laughs> See, you're, you're spreading awareness. So it was basically... <laughs> so it was basically in the 1800s, it was a guy named Frederick Frederick Thomas Linwood, and he was the first like documented serial killer like ever. And like he would go in like the alleyways and lure kids into the alley like with muffins and then he will kidnap them and kill them that was a muffin man story yeah so like the the muffin man um song was created by the parents of the children to like you know spread awareness of like the muffin man so like the kids will know what will happen like you know down jury lane oh so they would like stay away from there so it's basically just like a warning of like a whole serial killer is that the whole song it was like, do you know the muffin man, the, the muffin, muffin man, man, the muffin, muffin man. man? Do you know the muffin man who lives down Jury Lane? Ah. So I guess that was like a, it was like a warning, like to the kids, like, yo, but be careful when you walk around. If you see a guy selling muffins, don't go there. <laughs> Dang, that's that's smart though. I feel like for, for the me, kids, Loki for me, that's, that, I think he would have caught, he would have caught my ass. He would have caught me too. Like, I'd have been like, do you? <laughs> yeah. No, I mean like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you singing the song as he as he's giving as you a I'm muffin. Going to- <laughs> <laughs> he's just like skipping. And I'm like, oh, thanks for the muffin. No, I feel like I like me as a kid. Like that Stranger Danger shit. I didn't believe in that shit. If some kid, if some nigga oh, gave nah. me like a candy bar, I'm like, hey, thank you, thank you, kind sir. Oh no, nah. I used lace to my get, dumb ass. I used to be away from all the strangers. I used to be scared of everybody. I don't know. I think like if I if I see somebody, I'm like, oh hey. But like, like you remember the the black phone movie we watched? Mm-hmm. Oh, that nigga would have scooped my ass <laughs> up. I ain't gonna lie, that nigga would have got me, bro. And oh, I probably would have died. Nah, he wouldn't have got me. He looked scary. I know, but like, what do you, what did he used to do? He just used to pull up. He pulled up in his van with a black balloon. Oh my god, he would have got me <laughs> because I used to walk home by myself. <laughs> Yo, he would have really <laughs> scooped me up, bro. Cause my mom, <laughs> no, I swear, okay, I understand now why my mom used to like. My mom used to call, blow up Ish's mom's phone all the, or either call him Ish or Ish's mom to see where we were. Because me and Ish, like when we was in middle school, like 
we used to walk home together. It used to be me, Ish, my friend Andy, and um, Gideon did. Uh, my neighbor, you know Gideon, right? Mm-hmm. He didn't walk with us because his parents didn't want to want him walking home. He used to pick <laughs> him up. So I understood why. And then we used to walk down like the street called Colonial Street. It was a long ass street, and like you know where Ish's house, right? Yeah. So like Ish's house would be first. So Ish would just go home, and then I had to just go down that long street with like me and Andy. But then Andy's house, so it was just me just going down. But like I always have to meet my mom at a at Livingston at the at the elementary school because she didn't want me going all the way down because it was too far. Imagine somebody scoop if somebody scooped me up, I don't think I would be able to fight back, bro. How old were you? I was like twelve. Oh. But like I wasn't like And you're gonna go with a stranger? No, I mean like if somebody twelve years old. No, no, I mean if somebody <laughs> pulled up in a van like skr skr and just like opened the back and grabbed me, I wouldn't be able to fight. Like I like I mean I don't think nobody would be able to fight that. Like but like and like nobody used to drive down there like too too much at least. Mm-mm. And then oh my god, I remember we was walking one time. <laughs> we was walking. I forgot who it was. It was a bunch of us. Or maybe like four of us. And we was walking by the golf course. And then all you just hear is, you stupid motherfucker. And then a car came off, and you just see some guy with a pizza, and he throws that shit at us. That shit hit Andy right in the chest, bro. Like a whole pizza. I'm what like, the heck? I'm like, what the fuck? Why? How old were you? Twelve. Twelve or eleven. Like we were just walking, just minding our business. Oh no. Like you you know, I, you met Andy before, the, the the Asian guy that was remember when we went to Spooky Nook and I said what's good to the little Asian guy that was playing volleyball? Remember when we when I was working out before, and I was like, he was like some little Asian kid, little Chinese kids just walked up to me and said, like, "Yo, what's up, Darius? I haven't seen you in a minute." And we was like squatting. A lot and of stuff. people do that. It was a, it was one. There was only one Asian guy. <laughs> There's a lot of Asian people. Like a Chinese looking. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Jay's memory is so shitty. We're at a Filipino game. There's. But I'm, but they're play, he plays bunch. volleyball. I, t- you don't remember. But but anyways. So a lot of shit used to happen when we was walking. Like he got hit with the pizza. I remember this nigga was fighting somebody. Like nigga got he he started fighting somebody. I didn't know what to do. I'm like, dang, because that that nigga was kind of big. He kind of scared me too. I was like, damn, if I fight that nigga, he gonna fight me and beat my ass. You let your friend get beat up. He didn't get beat up. He was fighting back. <laughs> <laughs> damn, looking back at it now, I still I can still see his face on the ground, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> You just—it could have been two against one. It wasn't his. His friends was there too. It was like two against five. Oh, his friends jumped in. No, his friends jump in, but they was like, they was like, yo, don't, don't touch this nigga. Like, let him get his one. I'm like, yeah, all punks. I was, I I got, I got bullied, bro. This was your time to stand up to a bully. That was a big dude. He was a big ass kid. You gotta pick your battles. Yeah, but you can't go out looking like no punk. Either way, if I get my ass beat. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, at least you stood ground. I'd rather, like, let's say I'm I'm fighting somebody and it's a big girl. Like, it's Krishan Rock. I know I'm about to get beat up. But if she called me on my name, I'm not about to look like a punk. But he wasn't fighting me. I know. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Hey, bro. Moral of the story is we still better humans today. He went to jail two times. Damn. I'm winning in life. <laughs> but I got I got another thing that we could talk about, right? So which one would you rather do for $1 billion? Mm-hmm. You have to try to survive 24 hours in a mall, but you're being hunted down by eight a pack of eight hyenas. Hyenas? Yeah. Or would you rather be in a gladiator, gladiator stadium fighting a full-grown lion... With a knife, but yeah. you have a person. You can pick any person in the world with you. Ain't nobody in this world <laughs> gonna help me defeat a lion. You never know. You can get you can get Shaq. A lion whisperer. A lion whisperer. Yeah. I'm doing. I'm getting somebody who specializes in lions. But what if that nigga die first? Then I'm out of fucking luck. <laughs> <laughs> so which one you gonna pick for a billion dollars? What you gonna try to survive? The hyenas. You gonna try so? Do you know? I'm gonna do the hyenas too. But before I tell you that, you know how bad hyenas are. Mm-hmm. Hyenas have the strongest bite in the world. But I'm looking at it as I'm in a whole mall. Yeah. But right what there, the, I'm right next to like I'm face to face with the lion. Mm. But like you got you know, weapons and shit. But what? What is your? What's your strategy? For the hyenas. Yeah. <sighs> I don't even know. 
Can they knock over a door? They're pretty strong. They're they're pretty big too. Like they're like bigger than like like a like a big dog. I'm going into the biggest store in the mall. You're locking yourself in there? And I'm putting the the little things down, the the gates. <laughs> it's done up. What if they like they, they find a way around that shit? What if they I'm call gonna be hi- I'm gonna be hiding in inside the the store, but that's just gonna be another form of protection. You gonna try to kill him? No. I think I'm a see. Look, this is what I'm gonna do, right? Talking about pick your battles. You are gonna try to kill a hyena? Look, look. Think about it. Look, look. This is what I'm gonna do, right? <laughs> if if I'm in a mall, there's poss- there's there's a possibility there's a Dick Sporting Goods. I go to Dick Sporting Goods. I get me a gun. Now I'm fully protected. Get you a gun at Dick Sporting Goods? They sell guns at Dick Sporting Goods. With bullets in them? Yeah. I go to Dick Sporting. I ain't never seen Dick Sporting Goods. You never seen guns. the gun section? It's all the way in the back. Like they, it's like it's for hunting. Mm. Like it's a sports store, so they have hunting gear. They got guns, but you have to have a you have to have a freaking license. But you can buy rifles and shit over there. I'm gonna get me a gun. They might have traps, and I'm just gonna be posted right there. But if they all in a pack, I'm gonna have to like if they're like <laughs> with two guns. <laughs> I'm gonna do that, and then I'm a. But like if I have to kill them, I'm gonna have to like section them off. Like I have to like. I have to like split them up one mm-hmm. by one, so I'm gonna kill this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna have like some. I'm gonna food. get a sniper. They don't got like that. Oh. They don't got shit like that. They just got like like oh wait. I mean, a hunting rifle is technically a sniper, so they got that. I can see through it. Yeah, they got that. Okay, that's all I need. That's all you need. You can shoot a rifle. Long you range. Can, you can shoot a sniper. I don't know if I can, but we're gonna find out. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna freaking section them off. Like like I'm gonna get like like food on this one side. And just trap one in one store. Get food on this side, trap another store. I'm just going to trap them all. I'm good for 24 hours. But if I would pick, if I would, but if I would go the lion route, the person I would pick to fight with me, I would pick, forgot what that dude's name is, but that, that MMA fighter that fought a bear, I'm going to pick him. Okay. Because I feel like if he, he used to fight bears when he was little, like wrestle bears, and he's Russian. So you know what? Bears are slower than lions. I know, but at least he he has some experience with fighting an animal. I don't know what other person on the planet that that has an experience with fighting an animal, but I'll pick that nigga. And you got anything you want to talk about? No. You don't got nothing. Yeah. What you got? I mean, no. He said, he said no. <laughs> what? You um. Well, that's what I want to talk about. You excited for Florida? Want me to be honest? Yeah, just be be blatantly honest. Uh, 50, 40%. 40%? I mean, think about it. You got to think about it this way. You're you're playing under some palm trees. At least you're not in the cold and shit exactly. like that. Exactly, that's why it's 40%. You get your own room. The other, you're right. You have a pool. Yeah, but it's, it's just... Talk your shit. I can't. <laughs> I can't. It's the beginning of the season. I get you. I get you. I I'll get talk you. at the end. Let you guys know how it goes. Hey. Right now, right now it's not going too well. So you coming back? Oh wait. Jay's trying oh, to retire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll come back at the end of the season. Okay. <laughs> All right, bet, bet. We're gonna have some updates for y'all people. We're gonna have some updates. So right for now, people. it's not going too good. But so we'll, we'll see how we'll it is have at updates the end. at the end. We'll have updates at the end. But um, I'll let you guys know everything. Everything at the end. I can't talk about it right now. <laughs> superstition or just cause? Just superstition. I don't want to like say it right now. Got I want to say got it out you, loud. Got you. I might cry. I got you. I got <laughs> you. I got you. So the last thing I want to tell you is like with the new age of technology, especially like AI technology and like, like, like you said, Photoshop and shit like that. Who is that? Jojo. Oh, especially like Photoshop and shit like that. It's like people can make anything look like something. Especially, yeah. like, say I say I take a picture of Bigfoot, right? Say I'm in the woods, I find a picture of Bigfoot. I have a clear picture of him, but nobody's going to believe it because of all the shit that's been going down. Like, you could obviously fake that. Mm-hmm. Like, I've seen this. Like, there's this one picture. There's this one thing that went around uh, Reddit that was, like, a, a giant spider in Antarctica. And they said that it was, like, a government experiment that got let loose. But, like, anybody could, like, Photoshop that. Yeah. For real. Mm-hmm. So, it's, like, it's really. And I feel like this is what the government been wanting to do. 
So like they're, the- they're trying to mess with our head though because like let's say we actually see Bigfoot like actually in real life and we tell people they're not gonna believe us either. Exactly. So it's like with all this new advanced technology, they could you could Photoshop make anything look real. Nobody would know what is real or not. Mm-hmm. So I feel like over time, niggas is gonna be like realizing like you know what this shit is all like been faked. But really, this shit we're trying to tell niggas is real, but nobody's real. gonna believe us. That's what's scary. Like all this shit with like. <clears throat> Like, the AI-generated shit, like, everything looks so real, bro. And it's mad creepy, like, how, like, in a couple of years that... I've seen a... Yo, I've seen a commercial about the metaverse. Really? It scared, it scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> like, it was on ESPN. I was watching it, and it was talking about how <clears throat> that, like, the metaverse is gonna, like, change, like, society. And they was talking about, like... They, it was a guy that was sitting, like, he tore his ACL. And, like, the girl had, like, glasses on like metaverse glasses and she was able to see what was wrong and like you remember in wakanda when they had like the little touchscreen shits yeah like that's what the office looked like something like what if the future looked like that bro there was a <coughs> there was a tiktok i saw and it was a taxi driving itself with somebody in the back she was she just put she input where she <coughs> mm. she inputted where she wanted to go and then the taxi like drove her like there was nobody in the front seat it was just moving by itself it switched lanes by itself that's scary bro like, that shit's really scary. Like, they say, like, they have, like, they'll give, they say they might bring the metaverse for children, for schools. Mm-hmm. So, like, you put the glasses on when you're in school, and then you could just live out whatever you're learning. So, say you want to go cool. back in time and learn learn about the dinosaurs, you can go back. I want to live through that. Me too. That's, that's some, cool. I know, but, like, that's just, that's just creepy. That is. Simulation, people. Like, I be thinking, like, I, <laughs> I be thinking in my head, like, I'm a sick, I'm a sick nigga, bro. Like, I be thinking in my head, like, what if I'm the only real person and everybody else is fake? That's what I, sometimes I be thinking like that, too. I be like, is he a bot? Like <laughs> Me, too. Like, I'm like, <laughs> like I swear, there be people in my life that be, like, bots. Mm-hmm. People I work with are fucking <laughs> bots. Like, I just look at them, like, what if, like, I just look at everybody. Like, if I'm at, in my house and, like, my parents are just sitting there and I'm just looking at everybody in my house, I'll be like, what if they're just not real and I'm the only real person right now? That's what I'm saying. Like, there's no proof saying that I'm real to you or are you're real you to real? me. I think I'm real. <laughs> I think but what if you're a robot saying that right now? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Yo, th- see, I just, I fell down a motherfucking rabbit hole. I just continuously <laughs> just fall and free fall on my nigga. Like, you could never, like, you could never prove that somebody's real, like, Especially with somebody's life, you could just think like, like once you leave me, it's just like you're just like a program. Like you're just not you're not doing what you say you're doing. Like you're not in practice. You're just like, and then you're like, in like a system. Same thing with me. Like if you see I'm at practice, but like you can never know because like you be at practice. I be at practice. I be at practice. I just came from. How, how, I, how I know you're not lying to me? I'm telling you, I'm for real. Are you sure? Yeah. You look like you're lying to me. Not. What if you're programmed to say that? Are you crying? Robots cry. <laughs> Robots don't have emotion. <laughs> My throat itchy, yo. Uh uh-uh. uh. Libby, you got me sick and shit. No, I think it's because I've been talking too much for like fucking an hour straight. But yeah, people, we live in a simulation. Let that be known. Fact check that. But you got anything else you want to talk about? Mm, nor. Nor? Nor. You ain't got nothing else you want to talk about? Mm-mm. All right. Just thank you again for pulling up to another podcast. We'll see you again in many more episodes. JB trying to quit people. In what's today? What's this month? March. March? January, April, April, May. You'll see me in like two months. Two months. So what's eight episodes from now? That's it. Yeah. No. Yeah. You'll see me in three months. <laughs> You'll see me in May. That's what you just said. That's two months. Yeah. March, April, May. <gasps> no, what? Well, no, three months. So the end of May. Yeah. So you want twelve episodes? <laughs> <laughs> Jay's a sicko, yo. But shout out to y'all for tuning to new, another episode of No Records Podcast. What do you want them to say to see if they watch the whole episode? Comment down. <sighs> Softball season. Softball season. Comment softball season. You watch the whole episode from front to back. And also, if you like the video now in five seconds or you get bad luck for the rest of your life type shit, let her know. Five, four, three, three two, two, one. You got bad luck. <laughs> See, you just got bad luck. I just got bad luck. I'm going to give right you now. another shot. I'm going to give you another no, shot. No, I don't know. We're going to give them no second chance. Fuck these niggas. In three seconds. Three, two, one. All right, I know. now you're done. 
you see so how the world will change for me and be so wonderful type shit but oh new merch coming soon samples is coming soon all that shit thank y'all again for tuning into another episode <laughs> libby's getting cold we different than regular no regular man gangsta <laughs>